The views, comments, and opinions of the following program do not necessarily reflect those of Morris Media Studios, MorrisMediaLive.com, or its affiliates. Listener discretion is advised. Green with crystals like folders, picking up momentum, rolling like boulders. They call me ice, but I'm really much colder. My rhymes is heavy like the weight on my shoulders. I'm spitting that red hot smoldering lava. I fight to the end like the Navajo. Crack a bottle though, make it the goose with cranberry and triple sec. Triple my check, I feel the ripple effect of a fool on the loose. I hit you from every angle, from obtuse to right street shit like JJ. I'm dying. No might slide me some dough. I show you an execution in the flesh and promise not to leave nothing left. If you vomit, I keep stabbing, shooting, damaging, looting till it ain't no disputing who the greatest is. <laughs> ah, that's pretty funny, man. Hey, look, party people, we give you laughs right off the jump street. <laughs> that's, that's your camera right there, man. Oh, okay. Yeah, there yeah, you go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Party yeah. people. Yeah. Hey, we start guy. off with laughs, man. <laughs> Thanks for joining Mike Robinson Boulevard. Jaws, Mike Robertson in the place to be. Word up. Check out my cool shades, man. See, last week Melrose and one had shades on, and I didn't have my shades, so I had to rock out tonight, you know what I mean? I Just mean. in case. <laughs> my cool, I'm, I'm cool enough to be around niggas with shades, but when I put mine on, then I just close the show. You know what I mean? What it's all about. <laughs> Can't do it that police on vacation look. Oh, police on vacation, nigga. <laughs> you look like you just got in a Dodger Stadium for free, nigga. Yeah, nigga, I did. With no ticket. I did. And you sitting in a section with no liquor. That little because we re, snuck it that in. That little retarded we snuck section. It in. <laughs> we got this shit. We got the. We selling liquor. You ain't. Let you me ain't see y'all niggas' no eyes, man. man. Y'all could be bullshitting me. I believe y'all niggas had a fight and blacked each other's eyes, and y'all sitting up in jail right now. Nah, nah, nah. We're not together like that, man. <laughs> <laughs> you not together. I only see this nigga on Tuesday. <laughs> 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 We're not fighting. <laughs> and coming to do a show. Yeah. <laughs> Black my eye, Melrose. Go ahead. Yeah. Like I did yours. <laughs> <laughs> all right y'all hey uh, thanks for joining man to the far left mr al tumor from tumor's town and you all that other old good stuff not word out. Yeah, good to be back up here with you mike i know it's gonna be a blast all right for man sure. i like that mustard maga hat you got there man he got the new he ain't got it printed yet <laughs> it's written in fine print <laughs> you didn't even know <laughs> gold. it's a gold it's a gold golden like I'm a golden maga <laughs> <laughs> right next to me He's man a naga it's a naga <laughs> it's a that's nigga. a n- <laughs> niggas <laughs> <laughs> nigga good again. make America <laughs> nigga <laughs> again <laughs> A mana. All right, man. Mr. Melrose Uncut is next to me to what? What's cracking? The most interesting comic in the world. That's uh, right all day, man. How you doing, Melrose? I'm doing excellent, man. I'm having a great life right now. Great life, I'm having man. a great life. I'm living it up to the fullest. I'm not having my best life. I'm having a great life. Wow, oh, man. man. Is that so is that on a day-by-day day like basis? Stolen, huh? What'd you say? I said, you're living your life like it's stolen. Right? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yes. Living, living your life, life like, like it's stolen. stolen. Living I living made away. I made away like with the stolen. goods. <laughs> and it is a day to day basis, man. Like, you know. It is. Nigga, uh, tomorrow life could be fucked up, but today it's great. Exactly. <laughs> so we're going to celebrate the greatness, today, man. Today, man. As long as you still breathing. <laughs> That's let, a fact. Hey, let me correct myself. I just, I said it so fast, y'all didn't catch it, but I just said we had to celebrate. I missed the R, man. Celebrate. celebrate. No, we can we'll celebrate. Celebrate. We'll celebrate. Okay, well, you celebrate. Come up with a word. Yeah, maybe God put that oh, in man. Oh, yeah. Maybe that's the yeah, new shit, huh? Celebrate. Well, celebration. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Celebrate. Celebrate. Yeah, celebration. Yeah, celebration. What does it mean? <laughs> <laughs> I know. A nigga going fishing? Let's go fishing, man. I got some celebrate. I got some celebrate. Yeah. Come on, man. Stay creative out here. Right. Right. Oh, some, look, other, some other nigga came up with the word. Yeah, man. <laughs> look, you got a gang of bait, and I can just come up and be like, yo, man, can you celebrate? Can you celebrate? Yeah, celebrate. <laughs> <laughs> That's good, man. All right, man. Dewan uh, Brown is coming in uh, after the break. He was uh, studying. He was studying for uh, the show. Yeah, and man. We've been intimidating. Four or yeah. five more ribs. He'll yeah. be here when he does. Oh, four or five more ribs? Did you fuck with his cookout? No, oh, I missed it, man. Did you? You didn't. 
I, I heard the, about it. I though. saw the pictures. Yeah, she was nasty. He looked like he had enough meat for everybody too. He did. Yeah. No, that was that was a that was a one man platter. <laughs> no, oh, was that a one man platter? Uh, the wine's plate. <laughs> <laughs> that was the wine's plate. Yeah, right. Everybody yeah. else ordered in, huh? <laughs> Niggas yeah, got yeah, Postmates yeah, for everybody yeah, else. No, yeah, yeah, I'm smoking this meat for me. <laughs> yeah. You see this side of cow, nigga? <laughs> Didn't even drink shit. It's just, just straight food. You know, some greedy motherfuckers are like that. Oh, uh, yeah. They, they don't fluid. Just, well, yeah, they they want all the room. That, yeah, that, that take up space. <laughs> 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 all this shit. In your chicken, reef. I know how that sausage, shit butter feel. Butter beans, cabbage, everything. What it is. Man, this weekend I went to the clip show. Clip show? Yeah, Clippers game. Okay, oh, dope. Shit. You know, Lake Show, Clip Show. See, man, I be making up slang, man. You don't you you gotta damn, catch you up, nigga. Love me. You went last week? The Clippers that's why, game? That's why she wasn't here. She, I saw her post oh, a picture. Oh, that's ah, right. Oh. Away from Mike Robinson. Hey, yeah, I know. She kind of <laughs> was smiling too brightly. <laughs> My homie Ant Dog. Thanks to Ant Dog for hooking up the little sweet action. Held it down. And then the games is... The the Clippers games are fucking fun, bro. Even you if you're so? not a Clippers fan, wow, man. They, the way really? they do they shit, it's like Dave and Buster's type shit, man. It's just like exciting and shit. I don't, I don't really fuck with the Clippers since they banned Clipper Daryl, man. He was in the house. He's <laughs> back. I know he... Oh, he there? He's back. He there? He's back. Do they shout him out? Like, really give him his props now? I know he well, be you there. Know, they took him down a notch or two. Yeah, I know he be there. They still let the nigga in the building. He got tickets, but I mean. He tried to he tried to strong arm him, though. Did, did you know that? He tried to, he came at him like, look, man, I, I'm y'all got to pay me more, man. The niggas come in here to see me and shit. I would imagine so. He could say that. He was the most excited part like, of the night. And it was like, slow it down. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't think he should have did that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, it, I guess after he started winning. Yeah, he, was, you know, yeah, he, he went, went a little too far. Yeah, yeah. Before they was winning, he had an yeah, argument. Exactly. And now they like, come on, man. Yeah. yeah, yeah but, uh, yeah, and then, yeah. but look, then they said he like approached the Lakers. Like, he could be like Laker Daryl. Mm. And they was like, nah. <laughs> you can't switch, man. We cool. We the cool. Players do it. Coaches do it. Uh, you got, you got a strong Doc point Rivers on that one. Now. Yeah, that's you true. Got a strong yeah, point. The that's true. The Lakers about getting Doc got Rivers as their coach. Why the fuck would you want him? Ah, that is. Very I guess the true. only only difference was he wasn't signed to anybody. Ooh, yeah, Doc, he signed it to yeah, no one. Yeah, Clipper Daryl. Clipper Daryl. What not is he doing signed. now? He don't tell me he living on Skid Row. Nah, he was Clipper. at the game. Okay, but his little oh, white suit. He was here. He was here. Really? Oh, that was a lie. They said that yeah, he, nigga came to He had to recant that story. Said, yeah. 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 Never said they that said he shit. went to him with his resume, like, dude, he had one team on there, like, <laughs> Clippers. <laughs> Daryl. I mean, Crowd I mean, hype. Yeah. He could have uh-huh. denied it, but if they denied you, it's like, well, yeah, I'll see, I'll see it. No, they yeah. told me they didn't want it. They already had the right. suit made and everything. Look, <laughs> exactly. I could do the same suit in purple. Two syllables, nigga. Clipper, yeah, yeah, I Laker. The, I got Clipper, the glasses. Laker. Are but they should have let him did it actually, because it would have meant that he was the reason. He's their problem. He's their curse. He's synonymous with losing. When he's with the Clippers in his heyday, he was losing like a motherfucker. Now the Lakers are losing. Put him right over there. Mm. So what is his name? Mm. Little Daryl. Little Daryl. <laughs> Lakers like a Clipper uh, Daryl. Like Clipper a, Darryl. Like a, a voodoo cheer cheerleader. Uh, <laughs> All right, man. Voodoo <laughs> cheer. Let's get to it. <laughs> what up? So, in the uh, spirit of basketball, okay. it is March Madness right now. Word mm-hmm. up. Anybody following March Madness? No. March Madness, man. <laughs> so, very popular thing we do in March Madness is fools fill out their brackets. Some four million people fill out the brackets to, to try to guess okay, the who's going to win, the right? The gamble. The gamble. So, right now, Warren Buffett. Offers one million dollars to anybody in his company who wins a perfect bracket. One million dollars. Fucking cheapskate. Oh, I can't even play that lottery. <laughs> that fucking cheapskate. That's all. Yeah. Warren, you're not impressing us. Yeah, <laughs> fucking yeah. cheapskate. One million dollars. Uh, Everybody put in like five dollars in the normal shit and you win like two hundred dollars. He's talking about a mill ticket. That's pretty good. I, that's a lot of I can't play. That's, I don't watch these fucking... kids play no ball no more, man. It's like watching Pop Warner. When you get 50, college basketball becomes like Pop Warner. Actually, the motherfuckers in the pros become like that. <laughs> what the fuck am I doing sitting there 50 years old? That's how I feel. Watching these kids play with a ball and they get to play Grown ass niggas play. I'm here ready to kill somebody to make did it. You so see, did, you see, did you see him play? 
Then it's going to play today. You're going to watch <laughs> uh, another game. <laughs> Hell no. The March Madness part, though, is kind of good, man, because it's like do or die. One one loss and you out of it. They be playing hard at least. But to me, it's right, still right. like looking at Pop Warner, man. Like I say, I, I followed this shit as long as I could. 20, 30, 40. Then Pop Warner, 50, I know. It's like looking at little kids, Blake. I ain't got shit to better, better to do with my time. I'm on the back nine. I got, I'm 50. I don't know if I'm going to get another 50 years left, but I'm not wasting it watching kids do some bullshit that I can no longer do. Damn. I kind of hate watching the way, watching it too, knowing, man, nobody getting paid, man. All the money they generate. That's another thing. That's straight rape with all the money yeah, they make over the Especially in you March Madness me, well, Month, they bro. They don't get paid because you give me a scholarship. Motherfucker, if you paid me, I could pay for a goddamn a scholarship with my ass straight money. No, you couldn't. Ass no, money. you couldn't. No, you couldn't. No, you couldn't. Not the rate of education going there. Bro, yeah. Hell no. Tell nigga, me. You, nigga, you playing for El Camino? Is, okay. <laughs> what, is, what is the goddamn amount of the average goddamn fucking concrete? I mean, the the, 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 the education. Let's just say you went there and Let's paid your money. Like, USC, UCLA. What is the goddamn price that you got them got to pay to go there? Well, okay, I, UNC I is it. high as shit. Okay, what is it? That's probably like 50. 50 what? Jeez. Fifty thousand dollars. Right. So you telling me if they paying these goddamn kids that they can't buy a motherfucking goddamn scholarship for fifty thousand. How many kids you know making motherfucking fifty thousand? We're talking about at least We're the still star, talking man. fucking kids. But look, why at least star but look, why 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 they get paid? Why get paid 50 G's and then you got to pay for your school right back and shit? Now we, we back but, where we but started Mike, from. we talking about, well, what are you going to make? Let's just say you, like this Zion Williams boy, and you go to school four years, but they paying you... Fucking two or three hundred thousand dollars. Yeah, a I'm, year. I'm only saying they what should do that. They pay it. Like they paying you minimum wage to play basketball. But you got to think. You got to think about they marketing you for the next level, so you are getting exposure in this uh, unsolicited advertisement uh, as you move <laughs> forward. So now we're. <laughs> bumping you up to the big money. Nobody wow. knew who the fuck you were yeah. before hey. you put on our the, corporation hey, yeah. jersey. Hey, Al, yeah. Al, this is Melrose. Look at the bright side, uncut <laughs> right here. Man. Come on, man. <laughs> who the fuck were you before you had on the Duke jersey? Hey, man. You're fucking nobody. No. You're just a nigga from high school. Oh, Melrose knows how to look at the bright side, Yes, man. you can. All There's right. always a bright <laughs> side. You, but you, you let these people get away with that, man. They keep the these motherfuckers make billions of dollars out of this shit, and you tell me you can't pay a goddamn child a few thousand dollars? I can't pay a child that's worse shit. Than slavery. You better you be better off chained up back in seventeen hundred. You would that's not be better that. off that because they would fucking end up in lashes and and uh, fucking uh, ripped away babies. I tell you what, lashes they, they and they wait, 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 they, they, they was just gunning your the, ass down back then for you know no reason. They cut you up and everything, but if they just killed you, then they lost money. They blowing us away today, bro. There's a whole. It's a, it's a whole lot. I better. totally ah, missed all this, man. Ah, I totally man, this missed this it. intro into hey, this. Hey, my nigga, taking it to a this is like I'm Don't start, sometimes I'll be feeling the white man. Like, come on, my nigga, we still on that? No, <laughs> nigga, relax. Wait relax. a minute, I, I missed you it. You took it there. I Y'all just said, if, the who the don't fuck? Talking we, about this I don't even know. <laughs> we're, talking we're talking about, about the, the, the talking kids about not being paid 16. in college, and they brought up the shit where you should just be happy to be going somewhere. That's not what I said. That's not what I said. I, 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 I said, said where you, I said that, that. What I yeah, said yeah, was, yeah, was we're marketing you say, and yeah, advertising you for the next level. But they ain't supposed to. And we're putting you. Yes, we're putting you on goddamn scholarship. That's all. Wait, let us, let us say it. Speaking of it. All I'm saying is we're marketing, promoting you for the next level to get your fan base up. So when you graduate from here, you walk into superstardom and predetermined uh, revenue. This is already. This was going to happen what about once the you kids finish. Don't get that. What about the other ninety nine percent? Hey, exactly. my nigga. Welcome to the world. Welcome to the real world. <laughs> welcome to the real world, <laughs> nigga. Everybody not gonna make it, nigga. <laughs> everybody not gonna make it. You voted for Trump, didn't you? I didn't vote for nobody. <laughs> oh, this nigga voted for Trump, <laughs> daddy. Voted for nobody, Trump. Trump, daddy. Trump, Trump, Trump. <laughs> yeah, that plan for free is some bullshit, though. Yeah, that was, I know it is, well, man. We're talking about. We're talking about, okay, look, Warren, before you came, Warren Buffett is giving a million dollars to anybody at his company who gets the brackets right. 
Yeah, all that money getting exchanged around and while the kids play for free. Yeah. <laughs> I get it. Here's, 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 here's why here's why playing for free is so bad. Like that type, that whole little scandal that popped off last week with mm. all these parents people, rich people, getting caught yeah, rich yeah. people cheating, getting people cheating the in. system. Yeah. Right. They was getting their kids in on like on like on like rowing scholarships and sports that people don't, don't, they don't pay even play. To. Right. right. Here's a little caveat to that. Do y'all know that all those sports are covered for covered by football and basketball? That's right. Yeah. Football and basketball Football pays, pays for, them. for everything exactly. else. And right. Title Nine, they make billions. And, 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 and that's and that's all come Title on. Nine. Come on, and gentlemen. Where, and, and where did Title Nine money come from, black people? Civil rights money. Exactly. We gotta remember that when we got civil rights, yeah. the states, every state, got to decide: <laughs> Do you spend this money on the black people who fought for it? <laughs> Do you spend it on handicapped parking spaces? Do you spend it on women's sports? And when they get the money, they say, okay, we're going to spend this nigga money on handicapped parking places exactly. and winning sports. Yeah. And so it's like, you you really get to see black people twice over paying for these white people to go to college all this, far back. This is equivalent to us always trying to be a part of their fucking yeah, system. Go, all right, that's go, real talk. We always want to be a part yeah. of their shit. And want to make and, it work. And make it work for us yeah. when we like, nigga, we not <laughs> fucking with y'all. When you go very true. Office. That is very true. Huh? Right, when you go run vote? I ran for office and lost. Niggas wouldn't vote Keep for me. Doing. This nigga tried to run for I president of you. elementary. Yeah, I guarantee you they going to put you in some point. Sergeant at arms. At some yeah, point, yeah. we got to start you being accountable win. for ourselves. No, that's true. Um, no, this, no, we aren't being accountable. No, this, but what I'm saying is we can't expect white universities to pay black niggas for playing ball. This is the way they have fucking structured the whole United States of America. We make you niggas work True. for free. True. Period. <laughs> like, what do you think is different now? Because uh, we put you in a university? <laughs> Nigga, no. You're going to work your ass Very off. True, We're not giving no. you anything. But at the end of your um, assignment... You're gonna have the skills and capabilities <laughs> to go out and make some money for yourself. It's still fucked up, and but you it's cool. No, you won't. But it's cool. <laughs> but it's cool. <laughs> Huh? You cool yeah, with yeah. staying that way? No, you won't. You won't. Have, you won't gonna have no kind of. You be back where you started. <laughs> you know why? Because when you go to college, they gonna give you. You gonna be like, hey, I wanted to major in engineering. They were like, no, that's gonna fuck up the team GPA. You gonna major in Swahili. Swahili. And, and that's what they do. They're they, gonna feel Swahili yeah, before and, and, they feel and, and, engineering. What? Who was that? Te- but the teachers are already lined up for you to get A's in yeah. all the classes. But I asked Mel Rose, are you cool with it staying that way? You say what it is. So well, are we supposed to just keep accepting that? Or is there anything I'm we can cool. do? I think I'm, that's I'm what cool he's saying. With it being their structured situation. Now, if you want them to restructure their situation, I don't think it's going to happen. So the only thing you can do is say, you know what? I'm going to send my kid to a black college okay. and whatever, like Howard, or I'm not going to send my kid to college. Like I'm going to just try to get him straight to the league or I'm going to try to the put him in ball. Canada or whatever. But as long as I participate in the situation that they yeah. have structured and we know how it already go, yeah. I cannot complain about shit that they got going. Just like the yeah. Oscars. And like, all yeah, nigga, shit. this is the white party <laughs> and you fucking mad because we not honoring you motherfuckers. <laughs> just we, we wasn't even trying to let y'all in, yeah. but y'all keep protesting on Outside with the signs and right. shit. This is like y'all the making, P. Diddy. Y'all yeah, making it like, hard for us to party. Man. This is the P. Diddy all white party, yeah, like, and you got on a black sweatsuit outside. On, man. Like man, talk about <laughs> they won't let us in. They won't let us in. Nigga, you not white. Yeah. You're not getting in this way. Yeah, well, all right, man. man. We'll in the spirit of basketball, let's keep going. <laughs> uh, Twenty-four years ago, today, Michael Jordan made his comeback. Mm. From Come playing, back like Mike wearing a four five? five when he stopped playing baseball. Exactly, oh, okay. it came back the to first the first comeback. The first oh, comeback. He quit, yeah, yeah the was first he wearing one. a four five? Yeah, he wore a forty five. Came back with not the to play five. games with you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. He came you. out. He came. He was balling. Dropped fifty five on, on the Knicks. On the Knicks, and then got smacked by Shaq in Orlando Magic. <laughs> That's true. He was nigga was tired as hell. And they would have. He did all his energy in that one game against the Knicks, dude. It, it, it was a wrap. Oh, Shaq no, wasn't man. fucking with. I mean, Jordan wasn't fucking with Shaq that year. They wouldn't lost the Knicks year if they, the Orlando Magic wasn't hurt. 
I don't know I about don't that. So, bro. Yeah, they would have lost yeah. to the motherfucking Rockets oh, in the finals too. No, hell no. Nah. Nah. Nah, he came back and got that hell two fully intact. Nah. When he came back and got them the first time, he mm-hmm. hadn't played with 30 games. The Rockets wouldn't have had no championships. So the next year, when they went 73 and 10, uh, 72 and 10, mm-hmm. when nobody stopping that. Hell no. Nah. Not even coming close. If they played against a hell, I still say if they played against a healthy Magic team, it would have been they a be, Okay, the healthy Magic team with uh, Nick Anderson and Shaq and Penny all the way. Oh, they couldn't fuck. They had nothing. They had nothing for that Pippen and Jordan. That broken wrist. They, they beat him the previous year. Why well, can he didn't stay? Yeah, because he he was Jordan two well, years if you out drop the game. Forty fifty five. Oh, you're not yeah. rusty. Oh, I don't want to hear that excuse. One that nigga Jordan was balling. One Matter of fact, his leg was fresh. Yeah, all right, and he lost the series. He, he wasn't fresh. Had... If you don't play basketball for two years, you that ain't fresh. That means your legs. That means your body's fresh. fresh. You don't have two years to injure. You got to get used to it. You ain't getting injured playing baseball. He wasn't injured. <laughs> That's even worse. I'm saying, you like, if he had a fresh football, body. he, he would be good. Fresh he was hurt. Shout, oh, yeah, out, yeah, shout out to Ego. Michael Jordan uh, making a major comeback. Oh, okay. Yeah, y'all niggas sound like a fucking barbershop. Barbershop talk. It's All like right, man. Barbershop. Next what item. Uh, <laughs> Steph Curry is now being called. He just hit a shot from the three-point line from the opponent's side um, at the buzzer. And people went crazy on Twitter saying he's the best shooter of all time. You say what, Al? He's one of them. One of them? Yeah. Who's the best? Man, you got to look The at white fucking, man. Fucking <laughs> Reggie Miller, Ray Allen. I mean, Mark yeah. Price, there is some white boys. Got them fucking... Um, Larry Bird. To, uh, Mark, and I said Mark Price, but there's, there's some motherfuckers who could do that, man. That just wasn't the way the game was. So I'd probably go with somebody like fucking Reggie Miller or Ray Allen. Ray Allen. You saying Ray Allen? Okay, yeah. Melrose, you say what? <clears throat> I'm going to go with uh, Curry. I've never seen a more pure shooter, and it just seems so effortless when he throws the ball up in the air. I've never seen anything like it. I'm going to go with Curry. The boy is a phenomenon of basketball. Damn. I think I have to agree, <clears throat> man. I would have said uh, some of those same names Al said, like Ray Allen or uh, Reggie Miller, even like Steve Kerr and shit. Larry Bird. But, Come on, man. We got to put Bird in there. Larry Bird was a hustle shooter. He wasn't the pure mm-hmm. nigga. Man, he wasn't no pure didn't. shooter. Nah, so we had to get white boys that it's credit. It's got to be Curry, man. I'm rolling with Curry, I, too. I Who Curry. you say? <laughs> best shooter. I've been saying Curry the best shooter ever. Since 2013, 2014. You, yeah. you know, I, I ain't got to wait till noon to see his sunshine. That way this motherfucker come. He, first of all, I think he has four years in a row. He broke the record for most three-pointers made in, uh, in, a, in a season. Mm-hmm. Kyle Corver, the previous uh, car cover broke the record back in 2012 for most three-pointers made consecutively in a game, 93, 93 in a row. Steph came and blew that shit out of the water, made like 150 in a row. Like, the way this dude would be, and, he, and he, can, he can pull it up from 50 feet. And he wet. I know, his distance. And, and, and that, not, not only 50 thing. feet, he wet from 10 feet. People yeah. understand the hardest shot on the court yeah. is that 10-footer. That little soft When you line it up from yep. three, you can line that motherfucker up and hit Man, it. I but when you're coming up from three and you don't have to use the backboard and you can wet that motherfucker like that, mm-hmm. now them other players, they didn't have that. They had the three, but they didn't have the variety, the range that he had close to the basket or further from the basket, and they didn't do it with the consistency that he did. And so he's man, the greatest, greatest doing it. And I think it, he makes it human. look. And what? <laughs> what you say? He's fucking human. I don't think well, he shoot. He don't shoot like a human. Man, I saw that boy walking out of the locker room. It is on goddamn YouTube. <laughs> walking out of the locker room and just stop and flick the goddamn <laughs> jump and hit all net. Yeah, man, he from, from the practice facility. Kevin Hart doing yeah. the goddamn joking he like he, I met he at the All Star game. Stephen Curry said, "Come here." And I just went over to him, and he reached up his arm. And ladies and gentlemen, it was wires in the man's arm. I'm telling you, he's not human. Yeah, I don't know. Now, everybody yeah. would assume Kevin is just telling a joke. It's just a joke. But What you're saying, this nigga's bionic and I shit? I believe Tom Brady is calling him, man. I believe I've, that's I've never shit. seen anybody make it look easier not, yeah, than yeah, Curry. Like, yeah. I mean, it's just like. I know. I know, and then he he, he be a, he know it's going in before he even go in. He like Smash already him. turning around, dude. It's and crazy. on top of that, he won championships with multiple it. with it. Yeah, with it. It's been plenty of great shooters, mm-hmm. but when it came down to the mm-hmm. championship, they mm-hmm. legs get a little tired. Mm-hmm. Some you know they they couldn't. Uh. Yeah, the he boy is actually won one with man, the motherfucker. I will see this whether he's human or not. I'll tell you, goddamn Clay Thompson, can damn, he can do what that motherfucker Ooh, do. Clay is Clay a bad motherfucker, motherfucker too. On defense shit. Yeah. But when that motherfucker show, yeah. you go off, man. He a bad motherfucker. Clay, to me, as good a shooter. 
Yeah, but you know he, he not asking. He, he don't have a mind, but nah, white. Nah, nah, so Steph, had, Steph got a better nah. mind. Got a got a stronger he offensive. Not shooter, shooter, not shooter, shooter. 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 Steph got that don't give a fuck mind that you yeah. cannot teach. But you can't. Yeah, he does not. He, quite, ain't, he ain't got to worry about. He no has defense. been a student. Clay got yeah. to walk down the better. Yeah, he got, he Clay got to play defense. Oh, uh, 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 his D game is way better. Yeah, his D game. That's why everybody called LeBron a bitch last year for passing the ball with eight seconds, and you got Steph Curry on. That's why the people were like people were mad at George Hill for missing the left. No, you he got Steph Curry passed. on you at home. You only down one, and you didn't scroll on that little bastard. Man, <laughs> yeah, easier, that's easier said than done. All right, look, next item, y'all. What up? Uh, I don't know who cares about this really. Wendy Williams is trending very highly today. She admitted, she she admitted that she is uh, basically a drug addict. And she is so much so that she no longer lives at home. She lives in what's called a sober house. And (laughs) she has a counselor called a sober, what the fuck is it called? Sober counselor who literally hangs with her and goes everywhere she goes 24 hours a day to make sure that she doesn't use drugs. I guess if you got enough money, you can stay sober. I don't know. Um, That's the story, man. What is her husband doing? Um, Pipe. <laughs> yeah. Poet just jumped in. Poet is saying with his baby mama. Yeah, finally going out. And shit. <laughs> what you say, Al? Does it matter? Do we care about this? Not really, no, right? Really? I'm just go she talks so much shit. She talks. She, she, she talk all that shit. So it's like, okay, you in rehab, get better, bitch. But don't want to give a fuck. Yeah. yeah, she attacked her with strength, man. <laughs> we, he fucked her ass. You know, up. at the same time, man, we just gotta we gotta have some compassion because a lot of our people get caught up in uh, entertainment, and it always leads to drugs. And a lot of the times, the shit that always? she's saying, always, it, uh, it every story ends in motherfucker was high. <laughs> yeah, all the stories. And look, when like, she was a, when she was saying it right, she says, "Now you know, and I'm in this uh, safe house, and you know, everyone all, already knows I struggle with cocaine." But blah, blah, blah. I was like, I didn't know that shit. Right. Like she yeah, like admitted bitch on crack. Right. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> looking for, she's just looking for sympathy, man. Everybody wants to. Everybody, I know this hey, is man, the sympathy era, world, man. man. Even Wendy right. needs some love, man. Love on the sister, man. We always talking about protective sisters, yeah, and the sister go right down, they right like, fuck her. Now, which right. one of us wouldn't get them put dick up in her? She can get the I love she got I would not. Well, well you guys on camera. I'm not mad. Nah, I'm not. I'm not. I would I, not. Even if I was, I, yeah. that, that's not why I wouldn't I put would, dick in her. Like, 20 years yeah. of single. <laughs> <Yeah>. t- <laughs> uh, she look like she's going to head up a junior say Yeah, nigga. I think she's struggling with manhood. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I think that's why she's so manliness. She's struggling with manliness. The real issue, she's, 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 she's a big bitch. You she's a trainee. <laughs> Wendy's a fucking trainee. You never fuck the bitch with a, a foot bigger than yours. Uh, bigger than yours. No, Al, tell us about it. <laughs> Wait, hey, if Al, Al fuck a bitch it. with a foot bigger than his, nigga, I'm yeah, scared. Yeah, but they was cute. I don't give a fuck if a bitch. Yeah, oh, I'm cute with bitch big old feet? If a bitch six seven, what you expect her to be wearing white baby boots? <laughs> 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 bitch six seven. Ah, <laughs> uh, what do you expect? Uh, uh, what do you uh, white baby boots, baby boots. You know, yeah, yeah, white baby yeah. boots with the little copper bells dip. on them. And dip. <laughs> That's different from size fifteen, nigga. All stars, nigga, nigga. Her big toe look like god a heel. Damn, shit, nigga like uh, it. <laughs> she come out the all stars like god damn. Like, kids oh, using her heels uh, for bike ramps. <laughs> right, she tried to escape from the rehab. They be like following her footsteps, like. Uh, <laughs> Oh, there she is. She only took four steps <laughs> and, and went a mile. Pretty <laughs> yeah, yeah, you, you, it's fun to have the a four big step mile. Got toe prints on your ceiling. Uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> leg good. Funny man. All right, next item, man. This is pretty funny here, man. I mean, not funny, but it's something to think about. Speak on. Basically, it. new research is saying that um, we technically need to change the time that we say that we become adults. The age is not 18, that it should be 30. Basically, your de- bodily development, your mind, your responsibility, and everything clicks at the age of 30 and not age 18. Al, you I say what? I believe that. Uh, mentally, no, we're not mature. I mean, your body. I mean, I don't know why they stop it. You know, we were talking about when people want to talk about what R. Kelly was doing and the age limit of when you said have sex with girls, that all tied into this shit <laughs> on who decides who is too old or who is too young. But mentally, you're right. 
I um, it, it takes a while to, to for a person to really get mentally once you done shook out all the shit that you've learned and was able to apply what you've learned in your life. It takes about twenty five to thirty years mentally okay. to mentally. become mature, and sometimes even longer. It might have took me to fought it. So, <laughs> so you know, you know, like the so stuff what? that you That's get. Me. That's selling mm-hmm. pussy and doing everything yeah. mentally. I mean, come on now. We got a lady no, in the is, house. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think a lot of that is, is like, yeah, we do mature later in this country, but that's a phenomenon in this country. You People are taking on adult activities by the age of 14, 15 in other parts of the world. Yeah. You can be an adult by the age of 15, but the way they they slow things down in this country, it makes sense because we socialize kids to... Be a child the rest of your life. Don't do anything. Don't have any responsibilities and shit. Right. Talk to me if somebody's bullying that's you said, instead shape. of you whooping their yeah. ass. That's why right. I said shape. It, it, but once you like eighteen, like, you get out of your parents. But house. you know the shit you that you actually, get when what you, you said was twenty nine. You still you should be fucking young bitches. I heard that. So oh wait, you heard 29? that? Yeah, you like. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Did, what? Somehow he tied R. Kelly into it. I <laughs> oh, 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 he want to open it up like, <laughs> hey, hey, everybody yeah, under twenty nine yeah, is good. R. Kelly, like, I don't know where <laughs> you were going with that. What I said, we were talking about who sets the age on what is mature and what is an adult. That's what I said. How say. did R. Kelly come into it though? Because that, the same thing is, how do you determine when a girl is too goddamn young to have sex? When <laughs> goddamn it, they got them fucking. Once they got them start administration. <laughs> once they hit puberty, nigga said administration. <laughs> administration. An administration. Hey, once the administration starts, yeah, I'm the yeah, vice president of the school or something. Hey, what's the what's the administration? Yeah, they should be let out for recess. To bring another life into this world. So if you gonna question God on that, okay, then you get the question. Is that where you're drawing the line now? Um, we, we we was talking about a broader thing. You started out talking about what when when is a person mature, and then I just brought no, it and said, how can who who actually determines that barometer? When you're mature, right. fit, mentally and, 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 and physically. Right. So, yeah. you know, I ain't nobody talking about nobody 12 year olds and under and all this shit. You got That's really you weird, got, man, what you're saying, <laughs> man. I don't you know. Got, <laughs> I'm just listening, man. You said it. I ain't saying shit, nigga. You're not really saying, I don't know, Al, man. <laughs> when they get administration, then they get yeah, shit. Don't challenge God. <laughs> no, I said mentally, you probably got them mentally as a man. Mentally as an adult, but by the time you've learned, because you've always learned, when you come out of your mother's womb, it's always somebody telling you what to do. You go to school, somebody's teaching you there. You what if she had school. a C-section? It's somebody teaching you what to do. So, man, it comes a point where you get in your life, you know, I've been around here long enough. I can go on what I know other than the shit that people have said to me. It's okay. my experience okay. of walking through life. Yes, sir. I know what's right. I yes, know what's sir. real. That takes a while. Yes, sir. It takes yeah you 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 get to that point right at around thirty yeah you but do. Like, and, and the brain doesn't fully the, the the frontal lobe doesn't fully finish developing to eat twenty three twenty four that's the reasoning center of the brain yeah but you still could be an adult by the age of fifteen yeah if this country allow kids to like in other countries they doing algebra by the second third grade here you ain't fucking with algebra to ninth to ninth tenth grade that's that's just one small example of how yeah, like super small, much but slower. Yes. Yeah, we're moving. I think those so, are white numbers. Those are white age limits. What? <laughs> um, eight, you know, you'll be an adult at 30. That's, that's yeah. some white shit. Like, they, uh, they're trying yeah. to push back. For them. They're trying to push that shit back more. Yeah, like, your black I know, ass man. in jail <laughs> as an adult at yeah. 10. Look, they, they, was, they was, trying niggas at adults. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's some white shit. They charge you with that. But yeah. they tell you what age not to have goddamn sex with a girl at. That's a back, uh, back to that. So, Al, yeah, we're, 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 back, to we're back on that. Right. Yeah, we're back to the discussion, Al. Out what is the true we, age? Hey, we, we back to administration. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we back to the Hey, that bitch can go to recess. She can uh, get it. Uh, <laughs> she go to recess. Oh, oh you can hear that. That nigga said recess. Oh, recess. <laughs> Oh. Who gonna challenge God? Who gonna challenge yeah, God? Look, I'm still 29, <laughs> nigga. I ain't a hey, dope yet. Yeah. <laughs> they had her in recess, didn't they? She's graduated high school. She's good to go. Oh, oh, good. Nice clean up. Nice clean up. Nice clean up. Nice clean up. Bat- that ball, batting fourth is the hell too. 20 and 30 years old. I'm looking. I, ain't, I can't do it with Alan do because I'm not white. But I wish I could go adopt me a goddamn little girl and raise her to be what I need to be as an adult. Damn. Y'all keep going out here getting with somebody else to goddamn raise. 
The crazy like part about it is <laughs> that's a very it, that's a very common practice in the music industry. Not with us. In the it music ha- industry, it ha- it ha- it ha- in, in Hollywood, and not not just no, people, people with money. Quincy Jones did it. What they do is they they they, 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 they adopt a twelve year old. I'm just saying, imagine they adopt a twelve year old and be like, if you're you gonna be mine. If Ted Nugent did it, but that's it. But uh, even a regular old dude, if you got the money, man, that you we have to adopt kids anyway. You gonna tell me I can't go adopt a 12, 13 year old girl and raise her? I ain't got to be having sex with her then. But I can damn so that's hold her motherfucker. Now that she didn't have her administration <laughs> in your mind, nigga, oh. you're like, oh, I can't wait. Uh, right, but I can hold off till she get 18. Oh, but, Lord, oh that's a nasty God. ass thought. Oh, that shit. Oh, bro. Yeah, it? I would have wanted to touch the chick. fucking men is, man, oh, by the time man. we bump into goddamn oh. women, their mind has been warped by some other fucked up ass mm, dude being next. a pimp or a fucked up boyfriend, and that's why you go through the shit you going through. Next if topic. If you can groom a wife, <laughs> next topic. groom her. Next topic. All right. Okay. Y'all to, ain't ready, man. On to lighter things. <laughs> I ain't ready. I'm yeah. not. I'm not. Hey, long as she been in recess, nigga, is it good? Oh, he ready. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she didn't been to administration. She didn't hey, look, you better finish your standards first, man, before I come here. <laughs> I'll be fucking you in six years, man. <laughs> I, I, I want you to not, write it a thousand I times. Look. I will be fucking you at 18. Yeah, I will right. not wear that skirt that you like so much. <laughs> I will not wear that skirt that you like so much. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, shit. All right, man. This was a uh, trip to me. Uh, for you MySpace lovers out there, That's more me. than a decade's worth of music has been lost by MySpace. Shit. 50 million songs or tracks. You serious? That people all put up on MySpace. Stolen. All lost. Stolen. What? I got Stolen. music on MySpace from back when I played. Really? I know, but no, the, I, 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 stolen. They, I heard a little bit. Of, like, niggas use it as a repository, like they save like, the songs. Like, I still give that, like, because like I have some music I recorded on drums years ago mm-hmm. with this band I used to play with, mm-hmm. and I have a CD, but I, the, the last CD I have is still vacuum sealed, and I don't want to crack open that CD. Really? So whenever like I would go on auditions for music, I would just give them that MySpace music link, Damn. so they can play the. Cause I don't want to crack open my last CD. I wonder have. if it's in there. I wonder if it's there. I gotta check now. Gotta check, nigga. That shit got <laughs> I ain't, lost. I ain't, I ain't been, I, I ain't been out playing the drums much lately. But the last few times I did, I gave them the MySpace music link, and they're like, wow. "All right, cool." It's <laughs> been remixed hey, and remastered. User. We got a user. <laughs> shit. Oh yeah. Oh, man. Remixed and remastered. Man, are oh, they gonna put that shit out yeah, later? Definitely, huh? man. They it's taking like all that garage shit. Garage and shit. They taking all that shit. They they about to come out with hit records. Uh, the leak, yeah, the MySpace uh, leak. Come on, man! Right, Damn. Damn. we're not even leaking it, nigga. We redoing the songs. Oh, <laughs> we're redoing them. Oh, the remake, huh? Yeah, <laughs> niggas that put their music on MySpace that had to be like twenty years ago, fifteen years ago. How long like, ago was that, Duane? <laughs> and that was when I recorded that movie. What? That was like 05? Yeah. 05. See? Okay. Uh, all all the forgotten that. tracks that you you wouldn't even recognize it when we bring it back out. Like, I, 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 <laughs> like, I ain't I been in my face right. to my phone in a minute, but it's I know it was on five. It sound like, like my lyrics. Yeah. See, I, I lived on Let uh, me check Warren my MySpace. Oh, uh, it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> gone. Hey, look. Yeah, you go to him like that's he, on my MySpace page. Ah, gone. Uh, no, it's not. I ain't looked at MySpace, man, of 2008, 2009. I don't even know if I still got the account. MySpace. You got MySpace for sure. All yeah, right, man. N- hey, look at it. Oh, here. Al, you got MySpace. I know I got You be, you be checking I every night, nigga. <laughs> 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 hey, I remember my Black Planet log in. Black Planet? I, I, I remember my, when I heard Solange guy was on Black Planet and everything had that shit uh-huh. popping. I went and looked it up, and I remember my Black Planet login. Really? DW Brown eighty one was the name, so y'all look me up on Black Planet. Uh-huh. DW Brown eighty one. I Damn. remember that shit. You got some old school pictures on that motherfucker. Hell yeah! I got pictures I scanned from my scanner back on that motherfucker. They have cell phone cameras. Shit. I'm an OG internet Man, he person. ain't got no music on there, but he got his pictures. <laughs> 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 he got the chess out. <laughs> all right, man. For all you animal lovers out there, man, this hurts my heart, man. They found a dead whale mm. on the shore in the Philippines that had 88 pounds of plastic in his stomach. 88 pounds of plastic. You know how much fucking plastic that is, man? Dude, Two white got- bitches. 
<laughs> in one stomach. Oh, man. <laughs> Basically, they pulled out all kind of bags and bottles and all that stuff, man. We got to stop polluting the waters, man. So We're going to need that shit one day, y'all. Yeah, For real. Meeting up to eat it. If all whales were doing that, it would have been more and born him dead. That was two white well, if women. If he just ate cups, fuck him. He needed to be dead. Oh, oh, that's cold. Cups, if you can't tell the difference between a <laughs> bottle and a goddamn fish. Yeah, how many other whales <laughs> floated up with him? That's kind of like. <laughs> that's one gritty ass whale, that's what he's saying. Uh, they said, they said, they, 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 they said out in the Pacific near Hawaii, there's a trash pile. That's about the size of Texas. Really? Of trash in the Pacific Ocean because all the it's where all the currents sort of come together. No and it's shit. about the size of Texas. But cool thing is like Adidas got Adidas has this new little this thing. Well, it's not new now, but it's been out for a little bit. To where they go out there to the ocean and they collect that trash. I saw that. And they make shoes out of recycled ocean waste. They ain't got they, they, man, they used to the use That's good, man. That's what's the up. Yeses. Because for, for, for the animals, it, it takes animals thousands of years to evolve. Right. Like plastic hasn't been around long enough for the animal brain to say, "Hey, look, that's plastic." Yeah, they they say they animal think that it, jellyfish. They say it's jellyfish. They exactly. think it's a jellyfish. They're so, like, "I'm about so, to get this motherfucker." Right. When a bag is floating in the water, they think it's a jellyfish. Yeah. So it takes it takes animal brains thousands of years to evolve. To be like, nigga, that's just say Ralphs on well, that shit, nigga. That? <laughs> or Vons. Where, 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 where was in the that? Philippines. Okay. But hell, it was it. something off of California that got filed but this we week. just drop fucking trash in waters here. They have burn sites and stuff for that. You don't just count. No, no, no. no, no. It, it could be water, It could be thrown in the water. Now, that, that shit could be thrown in the water in San Diego, catch a jet a stream, and end up in the Philippines. You don't ever know how that shit. Yeah. We, 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 what are we talking about? Regular citizens just doing that? I'm thinking. Yeah, they know but yeah, they you ever go that. fishing on the water? Them motherfuckers yeah. is dirty. I, I, I like going fishing, man. And them motherfuckers are dirty. Them, them they them sure are. Yeah. They drink their beer and be like, ah, let me get another one. Yeah, over the side. The yeah. They over there eating. They they ziplocs. They throw it. Like people, got white folks is dirty than a motherfucker. Black folks, we don't understand how dirty these motherfuckers yeah. are. Black folks, we ain't gonna look for a trash can. You know what I mean? We yeah, be reasonable. Because niggas don't want to go to jail, nigga. And then, and then, and then we just, yeah. and just as a people, as a culture, we're a very clean culture. Right. If we, we didn't go into on. Europe and say, and say, we like mother- to throw our shit on the street. Yeah, if, if we didn't go into Europe, them motherfuckers would have died out back in the 1400s of diseases. Like, mm-hmm. them motherfuckers is dirty as shit. Yeah. And we don't understand that. It ain't us throwing that shit in the water. We right. throw our shit on the sidewalk. Yeah, we, do, we yeah. sure do. Oh, no, no. <laughs> they keep it in your car and shit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, nigga, we don't fuck with the water, but the yeah. sidewalk can get it. Yeah, nigga, my backseat That's floor, like, nigga, mm. is nasty. Coming up, coming up. I'm about to say some real ah. militant, but I'm gonna leave that alone. I'm gonna leave it alone. I was thinking about. I'm about to say some real militant. All right, man. Next keep item. It real. Next item. So look, apparently, and I agree with this wholeheartedly. The worst day there is to go to work is the Monday after a vacation. Hmm. Voted the worst day ever. Who disagrees? <laughs> I don't know anything about it. Melrose never takes a vacation, huh? Well, I I just uh, have had the liberty to just say, fuck it. I'm still on vacation. I'm, I'm with you on that. Oh, work day is a vacation day? I mean, just like, I don't, that. I've, I've, I haven't had a structured <laughs> uh, right. occupation Nine to where five. I would have to be like, damn, it's, it's a Sunday. Yeah, 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 I gotta be there Monday morning. At four. I'm the type of nigga be like, nigga, I, all right, I'll be there at four. <laughs> In the afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> In the afternoon. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for real. Like, you know, My first appointment is at four. Nigga. Yeah, that's how I just pushed everybody back. I'm still, nigga, sobering up. Exactly. Uh, Dewan, yeah. would you agree? I would agree before I wouldn't. I used to, I used to like really love my job, so I wouldn't kind of look forward to going back after vacation and shit. Oh, but this nice. past, when I went on vacation a couple weeks ago, fuck that job. When yeah. I came back, I was like, man, you know what? Hell no. Nah. <laughs> right. I didn't come back till Tuesday, goddamn it. Ah, there you go. <laughs> there you go. Fuck the Monday. So I feel that. For real, man. I man, I tell you, dude. I have in the, my whole life, dude. Once Sunday hits, man, it's like, it kind oh of like, man, yeah, dude. It's a why downer. Why you got a fun mm. ass job? Like we are comedians up here. I mean, God, if, you, if that's what you got to wake up to on a Monday, you know. But a regular job, like at four or five, and it's bad weather, cold or raining or something. I'd yeah, crummy is a motherfucker. Yeah, like if you work down at the but, docks, nigga, I ain't never like, had man. a goddamn uh-huh. full real job in my goddamn life. And the last one, I was like twenty two. So I ain't hit no nine to five shit, man. I've been really? myself. Yeah. What was that, Al? 
Like, what was that at 22? Huh? What was that job 22, at 22? I believe it was a security guard out here. Really? That's what I got out here. They had you secure uh, shit? Freeze, I'm going to arrest you. I'll uh, see you out there in your bag. I just got out of here. That was the quickest job. Really? You better push that work, down. Did you work in the night shift and shit? I they, did all of them. Oh, nice shit. Got drunk on all of them. Yeah. <laughs> you niggas you know, better go ahead freeze. Steal that shit. <laughs> no, I, was, I ain't chasing them, yeah, nigga. Yeah, I ain't chasing <laughs> none of y'all. They could have all. Well, they don't pay me enough to be chasing them <laughs> in the parking lot. <laughs> Had a ball doing. Uh, I've been fired for every time I've had. Gee, really? you told me watching report. I called you. You didn't answer. <laughs> you know I ain't got no gun. <laughs> what I'm I told to him freeze. Splash, he right? kept moving. <laughs> I start watching everybody else in the store. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, damn! Uh, I said twenty-two. Wow. Yeah, he's right on that. I came. I came do number last night. Pretty much how I was. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that was was you were working during the riots and shit. Yeah, but in did you get some areas, shit, man? I went <laughs> down in the hood. I would <laughs> never do no goddamn security with no goddamn Don or nothing, man. In Compton or uh, even around here, <laughs> I was always in good areas, man. It mainly got oh them, like Topanga, you know, like you even got them Malibu and there's a guard <laughs> shack and it's million dollars. You checking them in and shit. <laughs> You know, I'm fucking Wilt Chamberlain is coming into place. I'm, I'm checking Wilt in. I, yeah. I ain't really? getting no hardcore security, man. Well, just sign right here. You don't yeah. have to put it on that paper. Put it on my paper. No, look, unfortunately, Wilt, I got to frisk you. So if you just go up against the wall. <laughs> they say you fucked a hundred. You might have a full AK-47 in that pants, <laughs> leg. Magic Johnson's. I was always at, at, at goddamn fucking like guard checks and people with expensive houses. So I never did, you know, the average security shit. You know, I was rich motherfuckers. Tip you a couple of hundred and not give a fuck about it. I can dig that. I can fuck, dig huh? that. Uh, but I've been fired from every job. Really? Melrose, you been fired? I have been fired. <laughs> uh, where you get fired from? Uh, Transit Casualty. It was an insurance company that was in receivership. Transit, Transit Casualty? Casualty. Yes. What's, what the fuck? Is somebody died uh, while they're driving? I don't know shit? what the whole thing was, but <laughs> basically, um, it came down to me and a film. Phil- well, basically, I was like a a, a temp. And I had managed to work this temp job over four years. Four years as yeah, a temp? I did. <laughs> I did. I macked it. I was like, you know, I, I learned how to work Is the system. Is that how you describe it? You macked it? I macked it. Most niggas, most niggas I get it. raised into a full position after a couple months. You know no, no, I mean? no, no, no. This wasn't. The company was in receivership, which means it was closing down so oh yeah it was, oh, uh, four, it, it was, oh, yeah. oh like the four-year close down yes it was going it was going down ever since i arrived but point that i'm trying to make was you was holding it up huh? i was always <laughs> late i was late 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 all my all my time cards had red marks really and when they fired me that was the only thing i could say like everybody loves you but it's between you and this cat and look at his shit you got no red marks and look at your shit <laughs> Bye bye. Yeah, we gotta let you go. Uh, this after four years of macking this shit though, so it was like I was really I only thought it was gonna last a summer. Really? It was supposed to be a summer job, you know what I mean? But oh, I, oh, I, so I worked my way up from nigga the the mail room and this is the most important lesson I ever learned in working. I came in. All right, Mel Rose. I'm do, sh- do tell. <laughs> we were oh, filing this shit, this. right? So I come in and I'm filing everything moving. So the OGs pull me to the side, like, look, little nigga. You know, you just filed like three weeks worth of work. <laughs> right. Uh, Slow it down. That's how I'm music. Hey, hey, that is a listen, man. Too hard, homie. Hey, you yeah. take a box yeah. and disappear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I spent four years hiding from motherfuckers. Right. Yeah. Slow yeah. it down. That's well, but let me let me say this about me being fired. Now, that when I was an adult, times I was fired the two times. They was justified. I was fucking up. Okay, we can't hear you. Say I say the first time, the first, the last two times I got fired. Like I've only about had three jobs and been fired off from all three of them. Two, I was an adult. The one that really fucked with me is when I was a kid in high school, like eleventh grade. You know, you have the, vo- edu- the vocational education classes. They mm-hmm. get you jobs yeah. in school and shit. They got me a job at a grocery store. I did that. Did that shit. 
But the written test is what fucked me up. And that let me know at that point that wine benefits. It asks you all like, type of goddamn like what questions. what is spinach, about, nigga? No, that type of shit. <laughs> like it, it get in the ask you shit like <laughs> If you knew an employee friend of yours stole five hundred dollars, would you tell oh, him? Oh, yeah. damn! Yeah, I hit you with yeah, that. I'll tell him. I didn't get that. Make ask the other goddamn question. But if you knew an employee stole two dollars and fifty cent of yours, and he was a friend, would you tell on him? I check yes. Two what? weeks later, was you not supposed to say that? Because yeah. I would to think say you was no all the way. You're supposed to lie all the way. Really? So I I'm thought, saying, wait, wait, but you was lying when you said you would tell on him, right? No, I, I, if you ask me about five hundred, yes, I'll tell on you. Yeah, right. You're right about that. All the way down. Yes, you, I know I'm supposed to do that. But when it get to $2.50 or more, you ask me, would I turn in a friend for stealing? You said no. Nah. I, I said no. Oh, you said no. Yeah. And they want oh, you, you to say, to say yeah. 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 And uh, they fired me. Uh, now, you this can't is tell the truth, school. nigga. You can't tell the truth. Right. So, I learned this. Like when Master used to be like, you good? Like, yes, sir, Master. Uh-huh. We good. Yeah. <laughs> you got to be on that, man. At but $2.50. Bro. Damn. Get out of here, kid. You, you, you know why he was mad at you? Because you got broke ass nigga friends that are still still two dollars and fifty cents. <laughs> you should have been like, I ain't even got no friends that are still no shit exactly. like that. But on I, that one, listen, I want, I want to piggyback on my story because this, this is the most important lesson I learned. I'm I'm following away a bunch of shit, right? And I go to my uh, supervisor lunchtime. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, and he's listening to Bob Marley. I'll never forget this story. <laughs> Listen, Bob Murray, no woman, no cry. No woman, no Back cry. turned to me. So I say, hey, Dave, what should I do with this box? Why are you snitching putting his name out there? Because Dave was a cool nigga. He was, oh, okay. the, he was the one that had to fire. He kept me around all this time because he fucked okay. with me. Okay. And, he, <clears throat> and he turned the music down and looked back and said, hey, it's lunch. And turn this shit back up. Ooh. And I was standing there with the box like, Ooh. I'm taking this shit way too serious. Yeah, slow uh-huh. it down, bro. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, this lunch. Hey, nigga. This breaks. <laughs> this shit is not that serious. So all you motherfuckers out there working hard every day trying to impress motherfuckers. Right. Take your lunch. Take your break. Yeah. Yes. When it's time to go home, go. take your ass home. Right. Breathe. Let it go. Yeah. These y'all gonna go. fuck about you. They that don't. all they run you to the ground, bro. Some John Henry shit. Nigga said it's work. It's lunch. Yeah. Right. And Damn. Then turned around. No <laughs> woman, no cry. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. All right, man. Uh, last thing we're gonna talk about, man, before we shut it down. This Damn, dude, it's over. Man, it's been One like yeah, 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 we got a quick little fun. two minutes. So this dude shot up in uh, New Zealand. Y'all see that uh, shit? Oh, yeah, he went yeah, up in yeah. there, man. And the footage came out. Did y'all actually see the footage? I did not. Hell no. Nah, yeah. I ain't watching that shit. That shit was crazy, bro. I'm I watched it, watch man. That. And the dude had on a, a cam as he walked around, man. With, a with camera? A camera. Wow. And he had a gang of clips and we just shot up the moss, dude. It was ridiculous. And dude ended up being from Australia. The white man. <laughs> and he said he they were there shooting up uh, immigrants. Up. Bitch, you an immigrant. Yeah. Whether you be Australian, because it happened in New Zealand. He's from Australia. But even if you were in New Zealand, you still a goddamn immigrant. What no white people in New Zealand 200 years ago? Right, exactly. Like, they, y'all, y'all so cold with the immigration, you can't even find the native New Zealander no more. Them motherfuckers is all dead. And he threw up this sign, which <clears throat> I didn't learn, I didn't know about it, but this sign like this. He threw up the white power, for white power. Oh, I know that's what I thought. But look, he had the three fingers is the W, and this circle is like the P. It Trump is throwing white that, power. Trump is throwing that up. Um, that, I thought it meant okay. No, that what? The, see, this is the thing. That's this what was, they want you. This is what they, we got. That's what it's gonna mean. See, because I don't give a the, fuck what they telling me. The white, the white media That'll get me in trouble. The white media is gonna tell you that that means okay because they're they're complicit. They know that what that means, but they on call with one another. They know that that's the official white power gang sign, and they want to keep it that way. So you're not going to get white media to admit and mm-hmm. say that it is. But Richard Spencer, leader of the alt right movement that happened down in Charlottesville, he did admit one time that that does mean white power. But black folks, one thing we got to get off is waiting for them to admit they little codes. They don't have to admit it. Know that that's what it means. Yeah. They gonna say it means okay. But if they throw that up, that means they want to fuck you up. Well, so in the watch prison out. Society, in, the, in the prison population, everyone knows because they use yeah. it. You know, they got the tattoos on them and everything. So it's real. But I just wanted to send a shout out because, man, it's like, what the fuck do you accomplish by that shit, man? You know what I mean? Terror. Everybody lost their 
terror. families or whatever, man. You can't let these people like change you, change how you conduct yourself, man. Mm-hmm. You got to keep living your life. But, terror. But who, that type of shit that it happened, man. That ain't no street motherfucker. It ain't. That's motherfucker of power doing that. Them goddamn planes that went, that went down. Look at the people that were on, on those planes that went down a week ago that they talking about. About the plane. Look at the people on there. This shit that this happened, ain't no sidewalk nigga pull that off. No. Nah, That's a motherfucker of power doing that. Yeah, maybe. Right. All day. <clears throat> Look at what they blow. That wasn't no goddamn fucking, uh, fucking Baptist church. What they hit. Look, I mean, look at look at that. Ain't no sidewalk motherfucker did that. But, you know, people want to look at this and that. Look at, you know, the crime and look at the people who were involved. And then they right. chalk it up like he was uh, mentally deranged or he they was always had say that. problems yeah. or yeah. this and yeah, they that. They don't always say that. And not just say the motherfucker was a terrorist. That was, well, they that's, say that that's, 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 they never say that. That's not terror. That's yeah. how you keep motherfuckers scared. At any given time. A white man can walk into a place of peace and shoot up the place and be escorted out with police protection. Right. Straight up. I mean, look at what they did with the boy that did that over there in, uh, what was it, in South Carolina? Dylan Roof. Dylan Roof. And Ruth. shot up yep. like eight or nine, not just black people. These were elderly people. And not only that, took the there, was the also, King. there was also a state senator. There was also a congressman up in there. There was, there was an official... There was a United States official in there, and they keep forgetting about that because he was black. You know what's funny is I never heard that. Yes, yeah, so yeah, Obama. Was, he knew Obama. No, 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 one of the one of the brothers that was in there, and yeah, and Obama, I said that Obama spoke about. Yeah, well, there was a there was a congressman, a, a United States congressman that was in there. And they keep forgetting that part, and also that's the same church that Denmark Vesey planned his revolt in eighteen twenty two. Yeah. And that's where these white supremacists, they know they know our history better than we do. Facts. Yeah. And see, so they were like, I'm going to go in there. Then the roof said, that motherfucker chose my birthday, June 10th, yeah. to march his ass down to that church and kill them black people where the Denmark Vesey, 9,000 black people were going to revolt out of in 1822. Yeah, I understand. But we, yeah, it was we, calculated. We missed the boat on that one quickly. We should have. We should still be bringing that shit up to the motherfucker. What about this yeah. motherfucker that did that every fucking day? Fuck Reverie. Keep showing the motherfucker every Whatever day. Whatever happened to him? Well, we we bringing nobody knows. Did you shoot a 70, 80 year old guy? That food woman, McDonald's. After I mean, you were sitting King down King. there, the police took him there. I know. But you don't want to have marched him out in a bulletproof they, they vest. And you get right. up and don't have no Protection. problem with shooting big mama and all this type of shit. Yeah. Old great mamas and grandmamas. Damn. You did that. We can't let that go. Yeah. We can't. All right, man. On that note, man, we're going to cut it, man. Uh, thanks for joining Mike Robinson Boulevard Party, people. Um, I had a great time with you guys today. And uh, we're going to keep it moving. We're going to keep smashing. No doubt. Uh, Mr. Uh, Al Toomer, where can they find you? Everywhere. <laughs> Al Toomer, the number two at whatever. I got all that shit y'all got. Just use Al Toomer, the number two at. And go there. In, 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 in a security uh, shack near you. <laughs> Funny pistol it is. <laughs> Melrose, what up? What up? Uh, you know, at Melrose, M E L L R O Z. Of course, you can find me at Black Hollywood Barbering Company. And two, March 29th, I will be hosting an incredible show at the J Spot Comedy Club Friday night. Please come out and support your local comics as we attempt to uh, humor you. All right. Dewan? Dewan mm-hmm. Brown on Facebook, D W A N N Brown, Dewan B on Instagram and Twitter. And BreakthroughAS.com. All right, and I'm you King Mike Boogie on Instagram and Twitter. You can have a rib and watermelon eating contest. I heard about that. You ain't even fighting. <laughs> you got a rib and watermelon eating contest come up. I'm betting got them $100 on you. You looking like a spoiled banana. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, a spoiled banana. I couldn't even understand about That's 10 funny. of them words, Al. I said, he yeah, is a I need, goddamn some pauses in your spare, show. Rib, <laughs> spare rib and watermelon eating mm, contest coming mm, up. No, but do you know mm, you flow mm, words together? Like it's one word? It, 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 yeah, but most mm, people love, understand. Love, 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 love. <laughs> Yeah, you like on. future yeah. and shit. Yeah. All right, man. Anyway, <laughs> Mike Robinson, y'all follow us on everything. Dicks. Portis in the building. Thanks, Portis. <laughs> Check y'all later. Five thousand G. Da, 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 da. It'll be until me. I sound like boom how I make it fuck. I like my green with crystals like folders, picking up momentum, rolling like boulders. They call me ice, but I'm really much colder. My rhymes is heavy like the weight on my shoulders. I'm spitting that red hot smoldering lava. I fight to the end like the Navajo. Crack a bottle, though.
Making the goose with cranberry and triple sec. Triple my check, I feel the ripple effect of a fool on the loose. I hit you from every angle, from up to to right street. Shit like JJ, I'm dynamite. Slide me some dough, I show you an execution in the flesh. And promise not to leave nothing left. If you bomb it, I keep stabbing, shooting, damaging, looting. Till it ain't no disputing who the greatest is.